Dear students, welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to see Kolesky method. So, when the system of equation is being given, let us see how to solve by using Kolesky method. This method is also known as square root method. Also, the given matrix A must be symmetric and positive definite. Let us see an example. Solve the system of equations by Kolesky method. The equations are x1 plus x2 x2 plus 3 x3 is equal to 5 and 2 x1 plus 8 x2 plus 22 x3 is equal to 6. 3 x1 plus 22 x2 plus 82 x3 is equal to minus 10. So the given system of equation is the form ax is equal to b where a stands for the coefficient matrix and also let us substitute the coefficient matrix here. A is going to be, you know, that 1, 2, 3, 2, 8, 22, 3, 22, 82. So, that is going to be the coefficient matrix A. And then, next matrix X is X1, X2, X3 that we need to find out. And B is going to be 5, 6, minus 10. So, here you can observe that A is a symmetric matrix. So, how do we say symmetric matrix? For symmetric matrix, the property is A must be equal to A transpose. So, I try to change this. First row, 1, 2, 3. If you take this way, it is 1, 2, 3. Again, 2, 8, 22. Again, this is 2, 8, 22. And then 3, 22, 82. So, 3, 22, 82. So, even if you change rows and columns, it remains the same. So, such kind of matrices are going to be called as a symmetric matrix. Now, since the matrix is symmetric, then only we can use the Kolesky method. Now, the matrix A is decomposed as a is equal to L, L transpose, where L already we had seen is a lower triangular matrix and tran L transpose is a transpose of the lower triangular matrix. So, here I am substituting the coefficient matrix A and here it is L and this is going to be L transpose and L and all we had seen in my previous videos only how the what form it will take L1100, L21, L220, L31, L32, L33, etc. And this is you are changing the rows and columns interchanging. So, you will be getting that as L transpose. So, this and let us multiply as usual like a previous method. Let us multiply both L and L transpose. Then I will be getting this matrix. So, now the coefficient matrix A is equal to L L transpose. And by multiplying all that, I will be getting L11 squared, L121, L11, L31, etc. Since both matrix are equal, then we can compare the corresponding elements on both sides. So, let us see what are those elements. Let us check the first row elements. So, first row elements L11 squared is equal to 1. L11 L21 is equal to 2. L11 L31 is equal to 3. So, L11 squared is equal to 1 implies L11 is 1. And L11 L21 is equal to 2. And if I substitute as L11 is 1, then L21 is equal to 2. Similarly, L11, L31 is equal to 3 since L11 is 1. Now, let us go and check the second row elements. So, the second row elements are L21, L11 is equal to 2. L21, L11 is equal to 2. And L21 squared plus L22 squared is equal to 8. L21, L31 plus L22, L32 is equal to 22. So, substituting this, and already we know the value of L11. So, this is L21 becomes 2. And since we know L21 is equal to 2, I am substituting the second equation L21 squared plus L22 squared is equal to 8. I am getting L22 as 2. And similarly, let us go and substitute in the third equation L21, L31 plus L22, L32 is equal to 22. We know L21 is 2, L31 is 3 and L22 is equal to 2. So, I easily I can find out L32 which is being equal to 8. So, L32 is equal to 8. Now, we will see the third row elements. So, if I check on third row elements, what happens is I will be getting that as L31 squared plus L32 squared plus L33 squared is equal to 82. Already we found L31 as 3 and L32 as 8 and so easily we can find out what it is L33 squared is 82. So, we will be getting L33 squared is 82 minus 73 which is 9. So, square root this. So, L33 is equal to 3. So, we are finding out all the elements in L. So, let us substitute in the matrix L. L is going to be 1, 0, 0, 2, 2, 0, 3, 8, 3. And L transpose, you know that all the rows should be written in the column 
each row second row second column third row third column that gives you l transpose so now we found what is l and we also know what is l transpose now we write the given system of equation as ax is equal to b so ax is equal to b for a i can substitute l l transpose x is equal to b and let me take that as equation number one in equation one let us put l transpose x is equal to z so if i put l transpose x this area is going to be z then the equation one will become l z is equal to b so from l z equal to b what is our l 1 0 0 2 2 0 3 8 3 and z is the column matrix z 1 z 2 z 3 and b is 5 6 minus 10 so usual multiplication that is your ordinary forward uh, substitution going for that 1 into z 1 so z 1 is 5 and next is going to be 2 z 1 plus 2 z 2 is equal to 6 so that is going to be 10 plus 2 z is equal to 6 2, so 2 z is minus 4 you are getting z2 is equal to minus 2 now the third and with third thing 3 z1 plus 8 z2 plus 3 z3 is minus 10 so substituting for z1 z2 we are arriving z3 is equal to minus 3 so now we find the matrix z is equal to z1 z2 z3 is equal to 5 minus 2 minus 3 now using this we will go and substitute in the equation L transpose x is equal to z that is the, which is our equation 2. So when I substitute for L transpose and x x1 x2 x3 z already we found 5 minus 2 minus 3 and usual multiplication we will be getting that this is a backward multiplication, backward substitution so 3 x3 is equal to minus 3 so x3 is minus 1 and next one is 2 x2 plus 8 x3 is minus 2 and let us substitute for x3 as minus 1 we will be getting x2 is equal to 3 similarly the last one x1 plus 2 x2 plus 3 x is equal to 5 so we substitute for x12 and x3 we will be getting x1 is equal to 2 so the given solutions are x1 is 2 and x2 is 3 and x3 is equal to minus 1 so this is the way we need to solve by using Kowalski method thanks for watching See you in the next video.